Welcome to another video of Best Deals. Check the description below as discounts and coupons will only be valid through those links. Once. This mode is great for smooth pan or tilt shots if you want to film a particular object. The following mode is triggered by pressing the mode button twice. It allows you to control both tilt and pan axis by moving the gimbal. In other words, it allows you to take a complete control of the crane too. If you press the button three times, you will enter the selfie mode, which is pretty much self-explanatory. You can also simply grab the camera and move the tilt axis manually to make the gimbal stay in that position. Finally, you can adjust the gimbal manually using the joystick and I found this feature to be working fine. Another great feature is that if you turn the gimbal off, it will gently shut out, meaning that your camera or the lens will not smash into the gimbal if the camera is not properly balanced. You can also control the gimbal using the Xiyun Assistant or Zplay app. Again, there are a few different modes and settings to play with, just like on any other Xiyun gimbal. One of my favorite features is that you can adjust the gimbal speed manually to get even smoother footage. Hi, I'm Ty. You're watching Osmo Mobile Tutorials. Well, you'll learn how to get the most out of your device. After you've inserted your mobile device and balanced it properly, make sure your phone's Bluetooth is turned on and the orientation lock is off. Now, power up the Osmo Mobile and open the DJI Go app. If your device is the only Osmo Mobile nearby, tap Connect. If there are other Osmo Mobile devices around, then choose the one you want according to the device name. If the Bluetooth connection breaks, just tap the Bluetooth icon in the top left corner to reconnect. As long as you use the same device with your Osmo Mobile, the two will always be paired automatically. If you use your phone with another Osmo Mobile, you'll need to repeat the process to reconnect. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more Osmo Mobile tutorials. Make your camera an extension of yourself. Welcome to the world of the GP Pro, a three-axis camera stabilizer that is changing the way experiences are captured and viewed. The days of shaky handheld video are over. 
The GP Pro produces jaw-droppingly smooth shots and allows you to take your story to the next level. Its compatibility with the most popular action cameras means you are free to shoot on the camera of your choice. The GP Pro sets the standard for durability using the highest quality materials. The GP Pro is built to last. Take control of your shot using the four-way joystick that allows you to adjust your camera's tilt, pan, and roll angles. The different shooting modes allow you to replicate the same dolly and crane shots seen in multi-million dollar productions. Extend your reach and get above the crowd without using a drone. The industry standard quarter 20 thread on the bottom of the GP Pro allows for easy on-the-fly extensions with a variety of poles, tripods, and monopods. Don't let your creativity be limited by battery life. The GP Pro uses interchangeable and rechargeable batteries that provide up to five hours of runtime. It also is compatible with in-camera charging. It's time to expand your cinematic abilities with the Evo Gimbal's GP Pro. Keep it smooth, my friends. Keep it smooth. Hey there everyone, Brett here from InfoSmercial. We have with us the latest innovation from Zhiyun, Crane Plus. Crane Plus comes with several exciting and groundbreaking new features. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can set up and use each one of these features. And then afterwards, we're gonna try to capture some really awesome footage with them. One of the headlining features of Crane Plus is the new POV mode. POV mode follows your movement along the roll axis as you rotate Crane Plus by up to 45 degrees in either direction. Accessing POV mode is really easy. With your gimbal properly balanced and powered on, you'll simply cycle through the different modes using the mode button until you reach POV mode. By default, Crane Plus starts in pan following mode. Pressing the mode button once enters pan locking mode. After a brief pause, pressing the mode button a second time will enter into POV mode. So as you can see, we have movement along the roll axis for Crane Plus, which is very cool. A few tips, tuck your elbows in, tighten your grip up top, and try not to rotate your wrists, but rather imagine rotating the lens, and you'll see that you'll get a smoother motion. Now this is a fun and creative tool to have. You can add some dynamics to your scenery. You can use this to add a Dutch angle for added dramatic effect. <gasps> and it's also great for overhead product photography. And of course, this is excellent for fast moving and action shots. I am going to be so late. Ooh, work shirt, check. Ow, kids toy, check. Car keys, check. Wait. Coffee! Let's go! And those are just a few of the ways that you can use the new POV mode. The rest is up to you. Another feature that comes alongside Crane Plus is the Smart Follow feature. Smart Follow allows you to select objects within your frame and Crane Plus will intelligently track them throughout the scene. Getting Smart Follow set up and working is really easy. For this, you'll need a hot shoe phone mount. Place the phone in the mount on top of the camera. After this, you'll need to rebalance your Crane Plus. Once you've done that, open the Zhiyun Play app, which can be downloaded for both iOS and Android. Connect your phone to Crane Plus. Make sure the app mode is set to phone camera. Tap the Smart Follow icon on the bottom of the screen. Lastly, simply drag your finger over an object and or area that you want to track. Crane Plus will handle the rest. This is great for tracking a person as they move through a scene, including yourself. No need for a camera assistant. Even better, Smart Follow can be used to automatically add a dynamic following motion to your footage. And that's the new Smart Follow feature a new way to intelligently and automatically track objects, leaving you free to capture the perfect shot. This next new feature is a big one, 
and it's gonna open the doors for all sorts of creative new possibilities, whether you're a one-person video maker or a working full-time professional. And that new feature is motion memory. Motion memory allows you to create advanced camera movements and then save them for Crane Plus to use at a later time. It will even remember all of your various time-lapse settings too. The best part? It only takes a few taps on your smartphone to play back your favorite camera movements. Let's take a look at getting a new camera movement set up. With our gimbal balanced properly, we'll open up the ZY Play app and make sure we're connected to Crane Plus. Then we'll set up a new moving shot. We'll set our starting point on the gimbal. We'll save our starting point by tapping the plus icon and then we'll move our gimbal to our end point. You can add up to five different waypoints to a camera movement too if you want, but for now we'll just stick with two. You'll see here we can use roll axis movement too. This essentially lets us use the new POV mode alongside motion memory. Let's add a bit of roll to this shot. Here in the bottom we can also lock a particular axis to make sure shots remain very smooth and fluid. Then we'll tap the plus icon again to save our endpoint and head to the next page. Since we're shooting a video, we'll just leave the time interval alone. It doesn't really matter here. Let's set a custom duration though. Um, eight seconds sounds good. We'll make sure we're saving a video and now look at this option. When this option here is selected, it will save our camera movement as a quote unquote preset. We'll get how to access presets in just a moment, but for now, we're gonna start our new camera movement and save it as a preset. Great, now let's use motion memory to access that movement we just set up. So we'll set up another motion time-lapse just like before, only this time we'll use this new tab that says preset. Inside this tab, we can see any presets that we may have saved. They're named according to the date with a timestamp at the end, but you can also rename them if you want. Here is the motion that we just set up and saved. Tap it and we're just about ready to go. The movements and waypoints you had set up before are already loaded up and we're brought to the time-lapse settings screen. You can see here that it saved all of our settings. This is very useful to us because now we can make adjustments to these settings if we needed to last minute. Like if a shot didn't work out exactly the way we wanted it, or if you're gonna use this shot in a different environment that required slightly different settings. Motion memory is great for someone wanting to film themselves while adding in motion. It can also be used for movements like buttery smooth pans, tilts, and rolls. Being able to play back the exact same motion can allow you to do some really creative things in post-processing, like cloning yourself. Whoa, whoa, how did you do that? As you can see, motion memory is a remarkably powerful tool. It's your own camera operator when you're in front of the camera, it can help you to set up the perfect pan or tilt very quickly. And it can even allow you to do some kind of crazy things in post-processing too. And never before has such a powerful tool been made available to filmmakers on a budget. But now it is with Crane Plus. We will appreciate your likes and comments. Enjoy your savings and subscribe for new deals.